Study Manager helps teachers create exercises for self-studies in SharePoint. I'm working with one such exercise right now. The solution can be used for any subject or training, but in this demo I show a site collection for English studies. I'm Peter Kalmström, the architect behind this new SharePoint solution from Kalmström.com Business Solutions. Currently I'm logged into SharePoint as a student. I belong to Group A, so this is my virtual classroom. Here is the student navigation, and as you see, I have finished some exercises already. This is the next one. The exercises have different kinds of tasks, so the studies don't get boring. As my teachers have created them, they are adapted to my requirements and earlier skills. This home page can be customized for each study group. It can have photos, videos, links, documents, a newsfeed, a forum, Yes, everything you can think of to make it a place for cooperation and discussion. Now I have logged in as a teacher and I am on the home page for the site collection. I have not customized it for this demo, but it should be used in the same way as the virtual classrooms, with images, links and texts that are interesting for all who study the same subject or follow the same training course. As a teacher I can see all the study group's pages. And I can also manage study groups, students and study material. This administration page is the teacher center. Here teachers can add study groups and students to study manager. For each study group, study manager creates a new subsite and each student is given a document library and a list for statistics reports. From here I can also edit the study manager lists. As you saw on the Group A page, the study material is arranged in a hierarchy. So each exercise should be connected to upper levels. I'll create a new exercise now. To make this quick, I'll just enter a link to a Wikipedia article here. On the Countstrom.com website, there's another demonstration that shows how to create the hierarchy and fill it with exercises and tasks. When I've saved the exercise, I can either Add tasks to it from the task list. Or open the exercise in edit mode again and add tasks from there. Under the second tab on the administration page, the teachers can see statistics for all students. There are also links to more detailed information. This concludes my introduction to Study Manager, but you can find more info on the Countstrom.com website. Thank you for watching.